Uh, while he's plugging in, you mind telling me uh, who you are and I am Scott, your company? I am Scott Coonert with Longbeard Amplification um, out of Waterloo, Illinois. Um, basically, I had no intention of doing this. <laughs> and, and, and Dave Anderson, I've known Dave for decades and decades. Um, we were sitting around one day several years back, and we both are roots musicians basically that's our style country-ish stuff and blues and things like that and both fender guys and uh, both were talking one day saying if you had one amp only one and you could only have one what would it be and we just couldn't agree and couldn't agree and finally we we said you know the 65 princeton reverb pound for pound is one of the best amps around simply because it sounds good clean it sounds good dirty um, it's got tremolo, it's got reverb, and that really covers all the bases, except you try to take it to a gig with a loud drummer and it just don't cut it. And, and there's certain things about the circuit that I always thought could be improved upon. Um, so basically I took a year and tweaked and tweaked and retweaked and you know tried everything under the sun. I've been working on Fender since I was a teenager and came up with that design. So it's, its lineage can be traced back to a Princeton reverb, but it takes lots of uh, liberties, <laughs> you know, from there. It's 20 watt amp, Princeton's are 12, that's a 20. Um, and like I say, I've done lots and lots of different things to it. The Boss Tom is a brand new model. Um, it is the 40 watt version of this. Um, <coughs> So if you think of this as, say, a deluxe reverb, that's a super reverb. Um, 40 watts, 6L6s. Um, just uh, bigger and different. more. Yeah. Bigger and more. Uh, I play rockabilly, so I like a pretty clean tone. Yeah. Um, you know, I play pretty traditional rockabilly and honky-tonk country and stuff, so I like overall a pretty clean tone. Where if I want dirt, I, I'll use pedals to get it. Um, so that amp is my current favorite amp that I'm using myself on stage. A lot of blues guys and roots guys love the tritone. Two twelves. Two twelves. Yeah, and that's and that's just a cabinet. It's not a tri. It's not a uh, long. Right. No. It's, yeah, I get you. No, but I like that because it actually, you know, usually with the two twelves, like you were saying earlier, you put it on the ground to get a little more low end. Or you, you put it in a you know little uh, amplifier stand, right? Right, and you can't. And then, I like this. Yeah, you lose your low end. Yeah. No, this is yeah, cool. when I come out with a long beard cabinet, it's going to be similar to this. It's going to be an open back, tall, narrow, one over the other cabinet as opposed to side by side. Um, because with me, you know, I don't play on in stadiums very often. So 
I play on little bitty postage stamp size stages, and you know, real estate is very valuable in a lot of clubs. So that takes up a very very small footprint for 40 yeah. watts, you know. Um, and you can and you can hear it. It's up high enough to where you can actually. Hear yeah. Chimey sound out of that. Let's, I'm gonna do the same riff. Sure. And uh, I'm just looking for chimey. Okay. Um, this has a pull bright. I just pulled it out. Okay. Okay. Uh, so here we go.
one thing I like only with it. Um, I mean, let me show you the. Oh, yeah, please do. I'll demonstrate. It sounds tremendous. I'm just so Thank lost you. on just Thank the you. clean out. I'm so used to. What I like to do for gigging purposes is. Uh, do you uh, have like a boost or a gain you ever use? Or yeah, I'm pretty clean. That's you don't need. Okay, that's what I'm going to show you. Okay, actually. sure, yeah. sure. Show us our, show us rock guys how to. <laughs> Okay, gotcha. Uh, gotcha. I've been building amps for beautiful twenty years. 
years at least. Since I was, well, hell, since I was a teenager, I started modding them. But I've uh, been building them for at least 20 years. And, and it's a sick uh, tone, really good. I'm a Fender guy. I'm pretty much a straight really Fender thick guy. Really and yeah, yeah. You know, it's, um, I like old Marshalls, but there's lots of guys that do old Marshalls. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and that's their style. And, and I mean, it's that know. awesome Fender tone, but it's not all thin. Yeah, like Fender. right. It's, yeah, and that's and the best old Fenders, and that's what a lot of guys don't know is the best old Fenders are big, thick, meaty amps. Yeah, yeah. But they kind of they kind of want the one way, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> good but then I'd crank it up and it oscillated. I'm like, damn it. So I'd go back to the drawing board like, okay, what do I need to do here? And finally I got the right combination of isolation because you gotta isolate the tank. It's a mechanical unit basically. You gotta isolate it from the chassis. And that's a hard thing to do. But I finally got it isolated. Uh, I have a system where I mount it on these little springs. They're also mounted on little rubber like shock absorbers. So any vibration from the cabinet doesn't really get through at all to the to the tank. Um, so I don't know if you heard the when I cranked the dwell up to the like the surge tone.
sounds like all the uh, time and effort paid off, though. Yeah. 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 It was, Must it's be proud of that product. Vintage, very vintage. It was a solid year. Of, I remember uh, Dave talking about it here. Yeah. Yeah, it was a solid year of laying awake at night and thinking, you know, if I did <laughs> this value resistor. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad there's people out here that can do that because I can't, yeah. <laughs> Last fall. 
And then, well, and that's why I brought I brought hot yes, for the yeah, yeah. kind of a hot bugger. That's my hog body. Yeah, yeah, the whole time. Yeah, really good. Yeah. How much? Uh, what's like your price points? Nineteen ninety nine on the head, and sixteen for the tricot for the for the combos. Yeah. Twenty watt combos, forty watt head. Right, right, right. And then uh, just because I didn't get it on uh, camera, what uh, speaker you using again? Uh. A Weber Signature 12B. It's like uh, a Jensen almost. Yeah, it's, it's basically a, a, a Jensen uh, C12N with a British comb. Yeah. Uh, so you get that Jensen vibe, but then a little bit of the British upper mid range. And that seems where what's best for you, you found? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because if you want an amp that has a little bit of hair to it, I like that little bit of that. Like I said, Voxy, a little bit of Voxy upper mid chime to it. Um, that's why, you know, like you think about Brad Paisley, he has that, of course, because he's playing Dr. Z's, which are kind of a Vox, you know. Um, and before that, he played AC30s, you know, is what right. he ran into. And uh, with these, like I said, as you get them cranked up um, to where they're starting to overdrive, they get a little bit of that chime. And I think that speaker plays a large role in that, you know, getting... Get a little bit of that British thing going on. You do know. you guys do the the cab too, or Greg Hopkins does my okay. cabs? Yeah. Okay, okay, gotcha. Yeah, Greg does my cabs. Um, it works really well with the yeah. And the cabs, um, the, the grill cloth is always the wheat color. I'm I'm keeping that the same. But as far as uh, the customer options on uh, the vinyl on the covering, sky's the limit. Uh, you know, you can have pretty much anything. Blue, red, green, yeah. snake skin. Some of them it's great. Yeah. They look awesome too. Yeah. They're killer amps. Um, you can do a lot of styles. Yeah, I mean it's, it's, it's limitless. Not, I was thinking about doing a red one actually. I kind of had it. Yeah, that would always do good in St. Louis. <laughs> Other guys like that lower wattage uh, kind of vibe. Yeah. You know. <laughs>